Kel never went astray again from that day until he died. But the next year, he did not give a party on the 5th of September. He started spending most of his free time at the club playing mahjong, losing a lot of money. In fact, he was at the club when he had a heart attack and collapsed. They took him straight to the hospital. What about is he in? Is he alright? Can I see him? Well, I better not disturb him if you cannot see anyone yet. I'll come back tomorrow. What? I still cannot see him? What's wrong? Is he very bad? Not bad, but need complete rest. Surely a short visit of just a few minutes will not harm him? Well, I suppose I must listen to the doctor. You will give to him this soup I bought in the tungkat, won't you? What's wrong? Why won't they let me see him? Charlie, where were you? Were you inside the walk? But they told me your father cannot see anyone. Do you mean he asked to see you? He said your father is too sick to have any visitor. Doctor, I want to see my husband. What do you mean keep me out of his room? How dare you keep me away from him? What do you mean he doesn't want to see me? I am his wife, don't you know that? I don't believe it. I don't believe he said that. He must be ill and out of his mind. Well, if he's getting so upset about it, I won't see him now. I'll leave him for the present. But when he recovers, I'll come back to look after him. Kel died in the hospital. Everybody was there at the funeral, all his friends and eminent colleagues. I suppose not many of them knew that when he was dying, he refused to see his own wife. When my father died, my mother left me behind and went away. I remember I was in her room when she came in and started packing up her clothes. I can't look after you, she said. Why am I so unlucky? I don't have a son to take care of me. Only have a useless girl like you. What were you born for? I cried. Ma, take me with you. Ma, take me with you. She pushed me into the room and walked away. From that time on, I lived with one relative or another, doing the housework, doing the kitchen work. And they would say to me, we pick you up from the gutter where your mother threw you. From when I was 10 years old, I lived like that for 4 years until they sent for me to be married to a man twice my age. Do you understand what made me what I am? Before my dress were grown, I learned that a woman is nothing in this world that men make except in the role that men demand of her. Your life is meaningless, you have no value except as you are a wife and a mother. So be the very devil of wife and a mother. Look after your family so that they can't lift a finger to help themselves. So that husband and son and sister-in-law must all depend on you so that you control them and hold them in the palm of your hand. So that the whole world knows your work. So that a girl child long ago would know that her life has some significance that she will not be thrown back into the gutter. Richard, I was a good mother to you. Kyung, I was a good wife. Why do you both hate me then? I didn't do anything wrong. It's all over now. It can't be changed. The children are all growing up and moving away. Susie and Molly have gone to live with their children in the modern new flats. Charlie is building a new life in Clementine. Chao Saja. Doris? Doris went to marry an American, an Angmo. I tried. But you cannot hang on nowadays. Things not the same. Soon, there won't be so many people in Emerald Hill. Charlie and Edward got married. Charlie has a son, Bin Xiong. His wife is out teaching during the day, so my grandson is left with me. Come, Bin Bin, Papa play with you. 
Sayang anak, cucu main. Tang daleng, main to sleep. 